What's up, YouTube? It's your favorite dragon, Aerith, and I'm here today to talk to you about battle resing. So if you do Mythic Plus, then battle resing is probably a very big part of your life because these dungeons are very, very dangerous. And if it's not, then good for you. Maybe this video is not for you. I'm glad that your life is going so well and no one ever dies in your groups. But for the rest of us schmucks, uh, we have to have a solution. Um, so there is the more obvious solution of bringing a warlock, bringing a druid, uh, bringing a death knight uh, to your key group. But that is not always going to be the case. And if they are the only res and maybe that player is very accident prone, you need to have a backup plan. Um, so in past expansions, we've turned to engineering as they are our primary backup plan and a way to battle res. And this expansion is no different. Um, there are actually a couple of items in the game that allow for us to battle res our teammates. Um, and the one that we will be looking at is the bracers. Uh, so there is an engineering crafted item uh, that you can make and it allows you to battle res your teammates. And so we're going to be taking a look at that. Uh, we're going to look at um, sort of some of the problems with that and how we can circumvent those problems. Uh, so one thing you might have heard is that the engineering racers are failing a lot. And this is absolutely true. I mean, there are reports of people failing 10 times in a row. I've seen I've seen it all over the web and I've heard about it from friends. Um, the actual baked in failure rate is incredibly high um, as, a, as a baseline. But there are steps that we can take to make that um, go down dramatically. And it's possible that it even goes to 0% failure rates, um, but they do not share the actual values. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'll show you what the item is and I'll show you how to make it the best it can possibly be so that your keys go as smoothly as they can. Because that is always the goal. Let's hop on over to World of Warcraft. Um, so before we get into the professions tree, I was just taking a look at that. Um, let's go ahead and let's look at the item. Uh, so the item is called the Complicated Cuff. And the Complicated Cuffs um, are effectively our battle res. Um, and what it says is equip safety fuses built into this device. Reduce the chance of its slotted tinker malfunctioning up to 15%. Use fearlessly cross a few frayed wires within the vicinity of a fallen ally in a desperate attempt to jolt them back to life with 60% health and 20% mana. Castle in combat. What could possibly go wrong? Well, unfortunately, quite a lot can go wrong. And when it does, uh, you pretty much die. Um, so when you're crafting these, there are actually a couple of different items that you can get, which will allow you to, um, will, which will effectively uh, change the nature of the item. Uh, this first line of text up here where it says equip safety fuses built into this device, reduce the chance of its slotted tinker malfunctioning by up to 15%. Um, so let's go ahead and head over to the crafting orders and I'll show you exactly what's going on with this item. Have a look around. Um, so as always, whenever we want to do a, a crafting order, we would go complicated. Should be the only one. Here we go. And when we're making it, this is what you need. You need a spark of ingenuity, primal chaos, lustrous scaled hide, reinforced machine chassis, chassis, dressed up gears, and an arc like a pastor. And so we got a couple of different options here. Of course, when we infuse one of these, this will make it be a possible 418. Um, and this will be the particular um the particular stat that you want on it. Uh, in my case, I chose haste because I'm doing keys. That was just the stat that I wanted on it. Um, and then down here, we have a couple different options. So we have a calibrated safety switch. This will reduce the likelihood of the device's tinker malfunctioning by 15%. Uh, so what this means is that it is 15% less likely to backfire. This is the one that I recommend that you get. And I'll explain why in just a moment. Um, but just to, the, to touch on all the bases, the other options are you can, for, you can get this one and include it in the recipe, and it will change the nature of the item such that tinker slotted into the device can no longer catastrophically malfunction. This means that you can no longer have a catastrophic malfunction when it backfires. Um, the case of the complicated cuffs is that when they catastrophically backfire, you are dropped to effectively, I think, one HP. Your health is very, very low. So it basically kills you and it fails to battle res the person. Um, so this makes it so that this can never happen. Um, the other thing you can do is the taker slot within this device will sometimes dislodge the battery instead of malfunctioning. I'm not actually sure exactly what this does to be completely forthcoming, uh, but I'm told that it is not very good. This is what we want for sure, is we want to reduce the likelihood of the tinker malfunctioning by 15%. Um, so let's head back over to our bench now that we have crafted our item and we have our 418 bracers. Um, and let's go ahead and 
figure out how we can make this thing as good as it possibly be. So we already, because of because of what we've done, um, have a 15% reduced chance of failure. Uh, the next thing we can do is that we can go over, once we've leveled up engineering sufficiently, into our specialization tree, and we can take a look at all of these. Um, so I went ahead and I did the legwork and I figured out exactly what you need to do to uh, optimize your chance all the way. Um, and basically, um, I'll just show you, this is our, this is our desired pathing. We're going to put 10 points in mechanical mind. If you just want the, like the straight up, um, and then I'll tell you why afterwards, you will then put 30 points in inventions, uh, within mechanical mind. So we'll level this all the way up to 30. And then we will go back to mechanical mind which we will take all the way up to 35. We will then move over to the optimized efficiency tab, which you can see here. We will put five points in optimized efficiency and then 35 points in generalist, which is right here. So we'll go up to here. Um, so just to give you an overview of like what exactly these things mean, let me go ahead and maximize this. Just to give you an overview of what exactly these things mean, um, effectively, uh, we will start, as I said, in Mechanical Mind. Um, when you put 10 points in Mechanical Mind, it allows you to open up the Inventions tab. So for 10 points, here we go. So we will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this opens up the Inventions tab. So the first tab within Inventions says, our tinkers can no longer catastrophically malfunction. Um, so we would then learn this, uh, which we cannot do until we've learned this, of course. Um, so I'll go ahead and do this live. Uh, we will apply our changes. Okay, so we've got 10 in mechanical mind. We will then learn this subspecialization. And within this subspecialization, we want to go all the way up to 30. And two things happen inside this tree. So when we apply five points, when we apply five points, here we go. Um, we will get our first uh, increased chance of increase or our first failure reduction chance. So what it says here at five is improve your understanding of the mayhem you are capable of unleashing, reducing the likelihood of tinkers malfunctioning. Great, it's exactly what we're looking for. So we'll do that. Uh, the next thing that we will do is go all the way up to thirty-five, because when we hit, or I'm sorry, all the way up to thirty, because when we hit thirty here. Um, we are going to further improve our understanding of the mayhem that we are capable of unleashing, reducing the likelihood of Tinker's malfunctioning. So there's another node which, um, in which Tinker's cease to malfunction. Unfortunately, I do not have enough to go that far, um, but this is what I will be aiming for next. So we can apply these changes and inventions. After this, uh, the next thing that we will do is go back to Mechanical Mind, and we will continue to progress down the street all the way up to 35, to which point it says, Improve your understanding of your own explosives and devices, reducing the likelihood of tankers malfunctioning and bombs exploding in your face. Uh, so this is the next thing we'll do, is we'll go here. We'll then head on over to Optimize Efficiency. We will go up to five. This will allow us to pick a subspecialization. We will then pick Generalist. And in the Generalist tab, we will go to 35. And this will further reduce the likelihood for bombs and tinkers to malfunction or explode in your face. Um, if you take this pathing, it is the most efficient. I actually looked through like a dozen times and kind of checked over, um, I was sitting on a call with a friend as well. And then my friend was also looking at it and we kind of determined like together, like this is definitely the best way to do this. Um, feel free to kind of poke around as you like, but um, this is uh, for sure the most uh, reduction you can get for your bracers to malfunction. Um, so with that said, uh, the bracers themselves do not need you do not have to be an engineer in order to um in order to use engineering bracers in order to use an engineering res rather however the backfire rate is incredibly high unless you are an engineer so if you really want to be battle resing and you think you're going to be doing it on a regular basis uh being an engineer is actually mandatory unfortunately uh that is just the way it is uh because you're going to go from having one player down to suddenly losing two players at a high enough rate to the point where it's like not actually worth it. Um, so as a, a preservation of ochre, I'm not able to battle res. Um, and if the person who is able to res is dead in the group, um, I need to have a solution. Um, as the healer, I feel like that definitely falls on my shoulders. Um, but it also just falls on every single person's shoulders. Uh, anyone who's serious about Mythic Plus 
should be doing this and you can because it is absolutely free. Um, so let's head back over. Um, if I were just gonna leave, give some thoughts about this, I think it's really bad. I think it's bad for the game. I'm not personally a fan of battle reses being so scarce. I think that um, in such a high octane and such a competitive environment, something that is as mandatory as a battle res should just be something that you get to do. I think that every healer should have a battle res and the select DPS classes should have battle reses. Um, in 2022, it's just the kind of utility that I think every single party must have. And it's really, really weird to be in a situation where you just can't play with your friends because you don't have a battle res or you're playing with your friends and things are really awkward. Um, maybe you break keys simply because the person who has a battle res is dead. It's just the kind of thing that like you have this in an allocated number of battle reses and you should be able to use them. Um, that's just my opinion. I think more classes should be able to do it uh, than, than the ones that there are. Um, this is just kind of the state of the game right now though and we must play with what we're given. Um, as an aside, I also do think that needing to invest this heavily into a particular profession just to be able to battle res to get a piece of utility that like should just be standard um, is also somewhat cringe. Uh, not a big fan of it. Personally, I think it's not the greatest, but yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments how you feel about this. Uh, do you enjoy having to go through these profession systems to get this kind of thing? Or maybe you actually do. I mean, some people are really, really loving professions. Um, I definitely enjoyed leveling up alchemy. I think the backfiring was a lot, but um, I did get a bonus out of it. It was kind of fun. And maybe at the end of the day, once I've completed my journey through the engineering tree, um, maybe I'll feel the same way. Um, but for now, just a little bit of frustration. Uh, but you know what? Uh, we've arrived and I will, of course, eventually get there. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, be sure to click the subscribe button, click the follow button. I have lots of evoker content and pretty soon lots and lots of Mythic Plus content. Um, I love you guys. And until next time, I'll see you around. Bye, everyone.